DreamWorks Studios is known for producing high-quality animated movies with unique plot lines and incredible characters. But even the most beloved and popular DreamWorks movies are far from perfect. If you look closely, you'll notice plot inconsistencies and unresolved mysteries that you won't believe made the final edit. Hey guys, I'm Brad with Wicked Binge, and these are DreamWorks movie plot holes, small to big. First on the list, Toothless's size and weight and how to train your dragon. While Hiccup's best friend and dragon is adorable, it's weird how Toothless's height kept fluctuating throughout the first film, which was clearly an animation mistake. Another major plot hole in the series relates to Toothless's weight. I hope you're hungry. Yeah. Okay, that's disgusting. Apparently, the dragon is a chunky beast that is revealed to have a weight of around 1,776 pounds, which is enormous. So how come he casually sits on his human friend's shoulders without crushing them? At several points in the series, Toothless perches on his human pals and they seem to bear his weight easily, which is a major plot hole. Next, let's talk about Dragon and Donkey's children and the Shrek franchise. The Shrek movie series has to be one of DreamWorks' biggest hits of all time, but even a successful franchise like this one isn't devoid of plot holes. In fact, there are several glaring ones that can easily be spotted by eagle-eyed viewers. For instance, one major question that remains unanswered is how can a dragon and donkey create hybrid offspring? It's not only biologically impossible, but physically challenging due to the massive size difference. Even in a fantasy world, there's no way for these two creatures to breed and have children successfully. Look at our little mutant baby! Moving on, Ogre's clothes in Shrek 2 is another mystery. In Shrek 2, the ogre comes across a potion, magically converting him and Fiona into humans. It's a drastic transformation. Once he's human, Shrek obviously needed a change of outfit, as the soiled ogre rags neither suited him nor fit his human build. So he decides to get decent clothing that looked much better before he begins his new life as a man. Since Shrek thinks this transformation is real, he throws away his old clothes without knowing that he would eventually need them again. We need to get you out of those clothes. Well, it turns out it wasn't an issue, since his old clothes reappear out of nowhere when he turns back into an ogre. So where did he find the old rags that he got rid of? Guess we'll never know. Coming up next, Vanessa breaking up with Kevin and having feelings for a bee in the Bee Movie. Viewers are aware that animated fantasy films tend to defy the norms of reality. Still, Bee Movie took things too far with Vanessa and Kevin's relationship, with Vanessa leaving her boyfriend for a literal bee. A human female developing romantic feelings for a honeybee sounds absurd, yet the film included this bizarre side story. How can a person possibly get into a relationship with an insect? Even if the bee speaks and thinks like a human, it's still too weird to see the intimate tension between them, not to mention the long-term consequences faced by Kevin after Vanessa dumps him. Frankly, the bee's intense reaction to the breakup seemed like a bit of a stretch. That bee is living my life! Another go. plot hole is how magical creatures appeared unnoticed in the swamp in Shrek. In the first Shrek movie, Shrek is shocked after opening his front door when he sees tons of fairy tale creatures have appeared in his swamp. How come Shrek never heard this many creatures setting up tents in his territory? What are you doing in my swamp? It's improbable he didn't hear any sounds or detect the presence of anyone other than him and his surroundings. Even if we consider that he mostly stayed indoors or didn't have a window to look out, his sense of hearing should have been sufficient to tell him that a large number of creatures have emerged in his swamp. Let's talk about unhealthy eating habits in Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge follows a group of forest animals that discover a housing development encroaching on their forest land, after which they meet a crafty raccoon named RJ, who fools them into finding food for him. While the movie is clever and fun with jokes that cater to viewers of all ages, or should I say, all natural, there's one question that remains unanswered. The furry crickets turn to junk food and human supplies when they have limited access to their regular food sources, and these animals are munching on the unhealthiest snacks ever, including chips, soda, and coffee. Even in a fantasy film, shouldn't there be some consequences of such terrible eating habits? Also, there must be a limit to how long these animals can survive on such a garbage diet that's essentially devoid of any nutrients or actual energy. One of DreamWorks' lesser-remembered movies is next, Shark Tale. Easy Forgiveness 
Hi, I'm Oscar. Animated movies usually have pleasant, satisfying endings that seem too good to be true, and one such example is the conclusion of Shark Tale. Even if we consider that the conflict was magically resolved, it still makes little sense how everyone forgave Oscar so easily and let him back into their lives. The Blue Street Cleaner ass had an underwhelming personality and didn't hesitate before lying in order to make himself appear more powerful and heroic than he actually was. It doesn't take multiple watches for one to realize how shallow, arrogant, and selfish this character was. So it's crazy how Oscar got away with everything, without having to deal with any repercussions. And it's surprising how no one held a grudge or established any boundaries. Let's talk about irresponsible pet owners and flush the way. Flush the Way narrates the story of Roddy. The mice will play! A rat who's used to a luxurious life, but is flushed into the sewers of London by the sewer rat Sid, who takes his place. In an attempt to get out, Roddy meets an enterprising scavenger, Rita, and the two team up against the evil Toad in an adventure that's full of hurdles but also surprises. However, there's one major plot hole reckless and ignorant pet owners. How come Roddy's owner doesn't try finding him? And how is she okay with Sid taking Roddy's place? We're also wondering why there are no language barriers and The Road to El Dorado. The Road to El Dorado is a cult classic and narrates the adventures of two swindlers who follow a treasure map to the legendary city of gold, El Dorado. El Dorado. While the movie has a list of flaws, a major one that did not slip under our radar is the absence of language barriers. By this logic, the concept of different languages in different regions doesn't apply here, because Tulio and Miguel could easily understand Shell. They definitely weren't familiar with the language spoken in El Dorado, so how do they communicate with the city's residents without any issue? It's certainly unrealistic. Next is how the gang in Madagascar 3 travel to Europe. Madagascar is considered one of DreamWorks' most successful franchises, but many plot holes are buried within the funny series. Since the Madagascar movies feature talking animals as main characters, you can overlook minor physical issues, but some bizarre details unravel the logic of the entire storyline. For example, it doesn't make sense how the characters travel to Europe so easily for Madagascar 3. In Madagascar 2, they apparently face many difficulties while trying to get back home safely and end up in the middle of Africa when their plane crashes. So how do they travel all the way to Europe for the next film? Do they magically get seats on an airplane or take a voyage via sea? Monte Carlo is just a hop, skip, and a swim away. It's a question that remains unanswered to date. There's also something odd about the Penguin's nuclear reactor scene in Madagascar. In one of the scenes from Madagascar, the penguins make a return with a nuclear explosive, which was supposed to give them the speed boost they needed for the chase. As per the movie, they powered the reactor with uranium-238 into their luxury urban assault recreation vehicle. But things don't go according to plan. The vehicle crashes into the roof of a hotel, but we see an underwhelming explosion instead. I mean, logically speaking, the penguins had truly used uranium-238. Kowalski's nuclear reactor. The nuclear reactor would have caused a huge, majorly destructive blow-up, resulting in a crisis in Monte Carlo. The vehicle crashes into the roof of a hotel, but we see an underwhelming explosion instead. Finally, we caught a mistake in Madagascar 3, when Dubois said the words, never should have left the forest. The creepy Chantel Dubois is the main antagonist of Madagascar 3, and has been given names like Psychopath, Crazy Lady, and Hard Woman by other characters due to her cruel nature. It was a bad... This cold-hearted lady was notorious for caring little about humans or animals, and having no regard for laws either. When she's tracking down the animals in the film, she says the line, you never should have left the forest. This raises two questions. First, how did Chantel know they were in the forest when she had no idea about their whereabouts all along? Second, she could have never guessed it, since none of these animals are naturally found in the forest, so her statement makes little to no sense. All right, guys, that's the list. Let us know in the comment section if we missed anything. Were there some major potholes you can't get over? Let us know and tell us what we should cover next. Remember to hit that notification bell and binge more of our videos. But most importantly, stay wicked.